Hello, I'm Frank and I'm the founder and CEO of Freigeist Capital. Today I want to talk about the 10x DNA, the mindset of the future. The interesting thing about 10x, and you might have heard it from example from Google, but the interesting part, it doesn't come from the Silicon Valley, it originates in the first moon landing. The president of the United States wanted to land on the moon before the Russians. And of course he had basically unlimited budget. And he assembled an outstanding team, great talents, with an unbelievable mission to land on the moon. And the team assembled and said, wow, that's impossible. But the president keeps on pressing them and say, we need to achieve this goal. And then somebody said, okay, we have to have a different mindset. We have to have a 10x mindset. We have to build a rocket that has 10 times more power than is available today. We have, a, have to build a rocket that, that has 10 times the strength. And we need to develop technologies that are 10 times more powerful. And this team with a 10x mindset then created new software systems, like how you develop and test software, new chips. It was basically the start of Intel and a lot of more new technologies. But the whole team was always thinking about how can we achieve this unbelievable goal to land on the moon. And then the 10x spirit grew in the team, and as everybody know, they achieved this goal. And this is a mindset that in, in Germany, for example, we have lost. We had pioneers, the German pioneer guys. But today, we are champions in optimizing every day a little bit more. So we have the best famous Spaltenmaß. Uh, we have great leather and whatever building in, in our cars, but we, we did not think about can be a car electric, can a car fly, what is a, a completely new way to store energy or can, can um, meat grow in the lab. So it's this mindset to think 10x, to think completely different and not optimize on something that is already there. And that's something I want to dive in deeper with you because it's so essential to understand. That's the power of the superstars of the Silicon Valley. We all know Facebook, Amazon, Google, and, and the latest companies like Tesla, for example, that joined the $100 billion club. If you dive into these companies, they all have a 10x DNA. They all thought, how can I change current products in a, in a very big way. For example, Google started with Yahoo and it was an index where a big team created an index of the internet. So, they, so manually they, they typed in all the information and websites. Google said we need algorithms to search automatically and, and do it completely in an automated way. That's of course the, the Google search we, we use um, every day or, or Amazon with a revolutionary approach um, to e-commerce uh, with fully automatic logistics with AWS uh, and how they utilize their, their server resources um, and so on. So whenever you look in these giant tech companies, they, they always leapfrog. They always had this, this completely new approach where in the beginning, most of the people said, this is insane. Sorry, this is not working. This is, this is insane. They will go bankrupt. Also, a very good example is, is Gmail that, that we use today. When they, when they launched with a the product, they, they gave every single user one gigabyte of free storage. And when they started, this was an unbelievable amount of storage. And if every user had used 50% of this storage, Google would have went to insolvency, went bankrupt. But they knew that it would take many months, many years until the storage was fully used. And while people were using more and more of the service, the cost for the storage went down. So they had the vision and they believed in that cost go down and, and offered an email service that nobody else were thinking of, of that would be a possibility to offer a, a one gigabyte of, of, of free storage. So this is the, the, the mindset um, 
behind it. Mm -hmm.